Hey everyone, welcome back to my vlog as I start touring around Japan. Today is my first day in Japan and I thought I would just show you guys around my campus a little bit and show you what I am up to this weekend. I'm studying in Nagoya, so I thought I'd show you guys a little bit around my dormitory and exactly where all the fun stuff is. Doing a quick tour since it is late, since this is the night I actually arrived. So it was pretty late here, but I just wanted to show you guys what the bathrooms look like since I took a shower. Next up is the bathrooms that were super clean, by the way. This whole building was just super clean. But here's the bathroom. It looks pretty clean. Not an insect in sight and bidet on the toilets. Hey guys, it's my first day. Nihongo no daigaku desu. And I feel like today's gonna be interesting. But I'm gonna make the most of it. The things I wanna do today are I wanna walk around my campus, um, maybe look at books. You know, I have to go get my school state ID. I overall want to kind of get adjusted. Right now it's 7 o'clock in the morning, which means it's 7 p.m. back home. Or, yeah, 7 p.m. or 6 p.m. ish. So I'm still, you know, getting adjusted. I don't know why I'm up at 7 o'clock in the morning, but I don't really know where to get breakfast. So I figured what I'd do this morning is I would wake up early, get dressed get ready as if I were gonna go somewhere and then just walk around until this afternoon. I don't need to meet up with my RA until about noon so until then I'm just gonna uh, yeah uh, my Japanese is not very good I know I've just only taken Japanese one but like I'm getting old okay you can't teach an old dog new tricks, okay? I'm, but I'm gonna really try my best to speak in Japanese with the people that are here since a lot of them really only speak Japanese. Um, but I think it's a really good challenge because I feel like I'm very good at understanding Japanese. I'm just having a hard time responding. So I think if I write down just a few phrases every day that I want to remember, things I want to say, that'll help me with my dialogue throughout the day. But um, yeah, let's ready for this day. So as you can see, I did not get a lot of sleep and I was also starving and had no idea where to get some food. But I remember the other night I bought those cup noodles so I thought I'd go to the kitchen for the first time and check out how to make some cup noodles. So here's the kitchen, it's very beautiful. I believe this is shared with nine girls and we all use this for just about anything we might need. So we can cook just about anything we want in here, so I thought I'd wake up early before anyone else since I was already up at like 7 since I'm still a little bit jet lagged and made this for breakfast. Mm. But it's very good. Yo. This is good. Breakfast, breakfast for champions right here. After changing my outfit a million times and consuming a quote unquote healthy breakfast, I thought I'd go explore. I was so excited to wake up knowing that this is the view I was going to get every day. Even though it was raining, I was super excited to just get out and explore the neighborhood that I will now be living in. So let's go see what's out there. Now, in actuality, I didn't really know where I was going, but I did see all of this before in my VR headset back home in America. I felt like it better prepared me for the little journey I went on this morning because the more I walked around, the more stuff I remembered from my headset. I stopped at all of the places I remembered in my VR headset, and I made sure to stop and take photos so I would remember the next time I go walking. The rain was actually really calming in the morning, and it was a perfect opportunity to walk around campus since nobody was on campus yet. Now granted I saw all of this in VR, it was not nearly as beautiful as it was seeing it in person. My campus was so large too by the way, I don't even know how I'm going to walk around this when classes actually start. 
but I did start keeping a mental map in my mind just so I kind of get an idea of where I'm gonna go for classes when they actually do start. Granted, I've only been here for like a day, but it still doesn't feel like I'm in Japan. <laughs> So beautiful outside, guys. Oh my gosh, I love it. Um, yeah, I walked to the convenience store and I got a cute umbrella. Overall, I am so excited. Um, I'm gonna just be vlogging a lot, so stay tuned. So I spent yesterday just roaming around campus and getting adjusted to my place, but today I made an effort to actually visit the city. In a span of a day, I already made tons of friends, which was perfect because I needed someone to go to Sakai with. Sakai is one of the closest shopping districts to Nagoya, and it's a beautiful place to walk around, and they have tons of good food and tons of cute clothes. And for a foreigner like myself, it's super easy to get on the subway and take it right to where the Sakai station gets off. So me and my friends decided to take a trip to where one of the underground shopping districts are, right under Mirai Tower. First stop was Gacha Gacha no Mori, which was a huge gacha shop where you can get tons of cute gacha toys that you can bring home with you. Rilakkuma is my favorite stuffed animal from Japan, so I thought it would only be right for me to get a gacha of Rilakkuma. Rilakkuma means lazy bear in Japanese, and he's just known as a cartoon bear that is loved in Japan. Next shop was the Studio Ghibli store. Studio Ghibli is known for their animated movies and are loved by people here in Japan and all over the world. After grabbing a little snack, we headed up to Mirai Tower to get some photos. Now granted, I don't know too much about Mirai Tower. I know it is a powerhouse tower of some sort, but I really just wanted to get a cute photo. Next up was just walking around Sakai. We didn't really get a chance to enjoy the up ground area since we were underground most of the time and decided to look around and see what a real city is like. And let me tell you, it was gorgeous. Granted, I've seen New York, I've seen Chicago, but it's nothing like seeing Japan. I say that and then I still say things like, it doesn't really feel like I'm in Japan. Our last stop was just stopping at a cute stationery store that was about seven floors tall. We really only came in for the manga, but that was our last stop before heading to the grocery store and then back on home. Today was the day I've been waiting on for a while. Today I got a chance to meet my language buddy. Everyone at our campus gets a language buddy to help them get adjusted to Japan. And so today I got a chance to meet Risa. Hi guys. I'm here at Risa Chan. Hi guys. <laughs> Hi guys. We're, we're vlogging today. We're gonna go do some shopping and we thought we'd bring you guys with us. Oh, cute. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> See you guys soon. Oh, there you go. <laughs> we're in the elevator! Hi! We're gonna do some shopping today and we're gonna get some good food. We have a lot, of, a lot planned for today. Oh! <laughs> Now I bet you're wondering how me and this girl just became friends after just meeting, but actually Risa and I have been talking online for a while. She's been waiting to meet me in person just like how every other student on campus gets a chance to take a test to find the perfect language buddy for them. So we already had our day sort of planned out. We knew we wanted to go shopping and find some good food together. Basically, they try to partner someone who speaks a little bit of English and a little bit of Japanese. So that way you both can communicate together. Now I didn't record too much in the stores, but I tried to record as much as possible since this place was ginormous. I want to say the mall was about seven floors, maybe more, and I think we went to each and every single but everywhere. floor. everywhere? <laughs> Risa-chan knew I loved fashion, so it was perfect getting a chance to see what Japanese fashion was really like. 
My favorite store was this so pink different. one, which I've always wanted to go to in person. Wow. So it was so cool actually seeing the real fashion right in front of my eyes. There's that. And we still had so much more to see. Mm -hmm. You can be in if you want. Hi! <laughs> Next up was looking at a Marvel store and a couple anime stores before we hit to the top. Now nothing would have prepared me to see the cute animals on this next floor. Now crazy enough, this floor was all about animals. This was a whole pet shop in a mall plaza. And these little guys were so cute. I could have been in there all day. Like just look at this little dude. Isn't he so cute? Also, if you made it this far, be sure to give us a like and a subscribe if you want to see more My Japan content. Ah. Hmm. Oh. Next up was this cute little K-pop store, but it also had a lot of CDs and records and to my surprise, tons of American music. So I was like, wait, what? My man Kanye West is in here? Okay, okay. <laughs> now this was one of my favorite places we went to in this giant mall we went into. Risa insisted that we go to a photo booth and I was so surprised because I never seen anything like this in America but it's just like a photo booth, but you go, you edit your own photos, and you have a whole little session where you're actually taking the pictures in the booth. Just to explain a little bit about how this went, first we had to pick our music, what we wanted to dance to while we were taking the photos. So we decided on some K-pop, of course. And then afterwards we picked what style we wanted to do in the actual shoot, checked our faces, and then we hopped on in. So once we got on in, I was able to set up my phone for us to record while we were taking the photos. And as you can see, we had so much fun. We were laughing the whole time, dancing, taking so many cute little pictures, and I absolutely loved it. And I think Risa did too. Now once your photos are actually done, you go to another section where you actually edit the photos that you took. As you can see, it makes our eyes super big, just kind of like anime characters. And we loved it because you got to actually pick the photos that you wanted, edit the photos that turned out a little wonky, and then it prints it out and then also emails you a copy. Uh, choose the pictures? Okay. Like that. It was a little I, complicated just because I didn't really know oh, um, what oh. to click, but I think overall it turned out just fine. <laughs> and next up, the day wasn't even over. We went to a cat cafe. So when you get in, you put in your cute little shoes, and then you head right on in to where all the cats are. I've never been to a cat cafe before, so I was so surprised. This was both of our first times going into a cat cafe, so this was a new experience for Risa too. But once you get in, you get unlimited drinks and you get to walk around, give cats treats, and just pet them for fun. I don't know what they put in these cat treats, but let me tell you, these cats would not leave us alone as soon as we took out these little cat suckers. Oh my gosh, they were adorable though. I wanted to bring them all home with me and I think Risa felt the same way. <laughs> <laughs> now this was a place I've been wanting to go for what seems like my whole life, the Rilakkuma store. I'm obsessed with the Rilakkuma and the fact that they had a whole shop for it, I thought I was going to have a mental breakdown in this store. Risa knew that as soon as we got in there, she had to take out her phone because I was freaking out. I was so, 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 so excited to go in here. They had Rilakkuma everything. 
and I just could not figure out what I wanted to buy and ended up just buying everything I saw. Okay, Risa chan, how are you doing today? I'm so good. Good, good. I'm so good. Oh, good. <laughs> Did you enjoy uh, the Neko Cafe today? <laughs> Hi, hi! <laughs> good, good! <Okay. laughs> Great for the vlog! And after the long day, we grabbed some food and started heading our way back for tomorrow. Okay guys, I'm back here with the gang. Gang part two. We're going on a little trip to Sakai today. And we're gonna go find some Pokemon. So, take out your Pokemon Go and follow us on this trip. Until next time. Mm -hmm. So it's been a long weekend, but the weekend does not stop. We head back to Sakai so I could take my friends from my hometown to go see what I saw. Oh my gosh. But of course we didn't want to see the same things. First we decided to head to the Sky Boat, which was kind of an on a whim suggestion, but it was super cool. It's just like a giant Ferris wheel, so that gives us a chance to look at all of Nagoya. <laughs> Oh, okay guys, we're on this thing, here with the gang. Look, we're on a cold bubble. <laughs> Hi! Got the gang here, we're all looking good. I'm gonna record more when we get up to the top, so peace out. <laughs> yeah, it sure is. I'm nearly not a fan of but I'm glad this one is And the sights were beautiful. Let me just say, if I never go to Tokyo, this would be perfect right here. I got a chance to see the whole city, and we even took some cute photos as a group. Wow. I'm not used to taking. Next up was walking around that same little area I had been before, grabbed some snacks, and just walked around to a few stores. The vlog? Oh yeah. Yep. They've yeah. got a little dream. Looks good. It looks really good. Ooh. Pineapple juice. Ooh. 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 Okay. Let's give it a taste. All right. Yeah, a little taste. Let us know how it is. Oishi. Oh, oishi. Perfect. Great my friends have never been to Sakai before, I wanted to make sure they got a chance to see all the stuff I got to see on my first day to Sakai. So we walked around to a few other places. We got a chance to see the area, walk around the town, and enjoy the beautiful sights that awaited. Oh, this is perfect for me. And to our surprise, they had a cute little Sunday market going on at this time, so we got the chance to see tons of people and watch a few of the little concerts going on. to the Pokemon Center after a long day in Nagoya, um, no, in Sakai. We saw a bunch of stuff. I bought some dresses. Um, Jason bought some, or no, Angela bought some clothes. Faith bought some clothes. And yeah, we've done a lot today. So let's, um, let's see what else we can get into. After doing a little bit of shopping, we decided we wanted to go to the Pokemon Center. So we walked across the street, which I also thought was weird, the fact that they can cross streets diagonally. Never saw that in America before, but I thought it was interesting to vlog. Lost, we finally found our way. We're getting close to the Pokemon Center. You know, it took us a little while to get there, but look, gangs all here are doing just fine, and we'll soon be there. With the Pokemon Center being our last stop, it was way too crowded and we couldn't get inside, <laughs> so that'll be safe for the next vlog. We headed to the Disney store, then headed back. Now after this long day, we realized that the next day was the start of orientation week. So next week, you guys will get a chance to see what it's like channel. to start school in Japan. So stay tuned for my orientation week. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe and give it a like and a comment down below. Thanks for watching. See you next time.